Uh, what I am going to do now is go ahead and take these pieces of wood and I'm going to cut them down the middle because these are one by fours. I wanted one by twos or one by threes. However, all of the one by twos and one by threes at Home Depot were not really one inch. Because I'm using one inch foam board insulation, I need it to be like pretty much the same height. So I went ahead and picked up the one by fours with the intention of splitting them down the middle. It's a little bit of extra work, but not that much, hopefully, if I don't ruin anything. My goal is to just go and have it be really easy. Let's hope it's really easy. I got an extra board just in case I mess up. We'll see how this goes. And I ran out of batteries. That's okay though. This was an extra one anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start getting an idea of where these are gonna go. So I know I'm gonna have one going down the middle. I think I'll put one going here. And same thing on the other side. The plywood that's already cut by the previous owner, which I am super ridiculously grateful for. He cut it to come out all the way to here. I need to decide if I want to trim that off and still have this step or if I want to build it all the way out, just like he did. I think I am actually going to trim off his. I'll put one of these boards going this way to kind of cover everything up. I think that sounds like a good idea. Wait a minute. Is this just a... I had no idea. Anyways, back to this. And then this will continue down to here. Obviously it won't be stacked up like that, but this is just for now. So now that I have a general idea of what I'm gonna be doing for the battens, I can get these, like finish getting these cut and temporarily placed. I got almost everything cut and fit. Next time I get in here, I'm gonna immediately start with the, with fitting the insulation and get it all glued down. Not a bad day. So I got all the framing in the other day. I was like thinking about how I'm gonna put the plywood down, where I'm gonna secure it, how I'm gonna secure it to the frame. And then I realized that I built the frame as if I had eight foot boards that were gonna meet in the middle of the van, like going lengthwise. But what I have are pre-cut boards that are going like sideways. So they're only whatever, however big this is, which means I need to cut more wood to go across everywhere where the plywood edges are gonna be. So that means I gotta put the plywood back in so I can mark where all those seams are, then cut more wood to create the framing to go under the seam so that I can secure the boards to the frame when I'm done. And I'm marking where the actual seam is because I am going to be making sure that the beam that goes across, that the center of the beam is right at these marks. The only part that is a little bit weird is this section here because I actually, it's, it's a, a smaller piece. So I'm gonna have to have two going along this way but I also have a seam right in the middle. This is actually two pieces. So I'm gonna take that piece out so that I can more easily lift the other two smaller pieces up so that I can mark underneath there. But I need my gloves. Where are my gloves? <laughs> so I can see that this part is going to be a problem. I removed this piece. You can see where the seam is and you can see where this rib is. I'm putting all of my pieces of wood on top of these ribs and this seam is right next to one of the ribs. So I can't really put a piece going across right here, but this is such a narrow piece that I think what I can do is, of course, use the one that's already gonna be going along this side and this side. I think those are close enough together I should still be okay because this is so narrow and this wood is so thick. So I've got everything marked. I'm gonna start taking some measurements and cutting some more pieces of wood and getting them fitted in. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna start with there. I'm not gonna plan. I'm not gonna plan any further because stuff always happens when I plan too far ahead. Maybe since these are so close, 
I just use this one here. Cross. Yay, recycling. Yeah. So now I gotta do this one. I'm gonna just keep using the same one that I was using before, which means now I have to actually cut these guys. So since this has a very definite edge over there, I'm gonna start by measuring this way and cutting. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this one is placed exactly right. I'm gonna set the measuring tape in the middle of the wood, find that mark, this mark, make the wood match, make sure everything else is still in place, and I think we're good. So now I'm gonna just draw lines here so that I know where to cut. And then I have to remember to cut on the outside of the line. I'm gonna write cut. I accidentally wrote cat. I have to keep in mind the width of the blade. That way I can shave it down if I need to, but I don't think I'm gonna need to. So cool. I'm gonna trim these down and we'll fit them back in. So I got them cut. And I did label them so that I know exactly where to put them. Middle back, <laughs> and then passenger back, and then this goes across. And I didn't put it all the way across because otherwise the edge would be going where there's no rib. So I want the edges where the ribs are. And this one's so close that I'll be putting a nail or a screw and then another screw right here. So that should be okay too. Now I'm gonna check my work to make sure that I'm still in the right place. It looks like I'm ever so slightly off this. It wasn't off. I just accidentally moved the piece of wood back there when I was putting this back in. So that's, that's good. Yay. Except I just realized I'm a dummy. This is where the two like short boards are going. So I actually need another one to come through. So I'm going to cut another piece this size to go across the middle there, which means I'm going to have to trim those down again. I totally should have started with those. I forgot that the other seam existed. That's okay. I'm learning. So there's that mark. Don't bump anything. Don't bump anything. Don't bump anything. Don't bump anything! I should be able to just mark this side too, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to take it one measurement, one cut at a time. This is my new one. You go here. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Put it in the right place. Okay. Yay! Check my work. Again. I'm doing okay. And then for heaven's sake, am I almost done? That goes there. <laughs> that goes in the middle. This is the driver's side. Wait, what? How? It's like almost exactly right. Oh, because I cut that piece off from there. Did I cut off exactly enough? Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, it's not perfect. So stinking close. So that one's, yeah, this one's like half an inch off. This one's actually really good. I might need to start over on these and cut them the right length. It sucks a little bit, but it is what it is. I would rather waste a little bit of wood and get it done correctly than to save a couple bucks and do it wrong. Where's my pencil? Pencil! Pencil? Where's my pencil? I'm really loving the fact that I'm using the pencil that I found in here when I took up the rubber mat. So got this one fitted in, did my check, everything looks good. So from here back, I think I've got it. So now I just need to trim the boards for up here. And I think I do want to have one go across up here, which looks like that is the perfect size already. Hey, truck. I'm gonna grab a couple more pieces of wood and I'll get this measured in. So I have some more wood. I don't want anything to move too much. Put this one here. I think I'm gonna cut these down real quick to just manageable pieces so that I can lay them down flat before I start measuring too much. So now that I have these more manageable sizes, I lost my pencil. Pencil, I need you. 
Did I take the pencil with me? Nerd. Where the heck is my pencil? Did I put it in my pocket? Nope. All right, I'm gonna use this marker because I'm too lazy to go get my pencil and it's gonna be fine. Now measure. Now, even though this is gonna be an edge, oh, it's gonna be an edge. I need to think for a second. Okay, so this is in place at least. So this is gonna be the actual like end, but I don't know if later I'm gonna wanna cover that up. Otherwise, I should put it a little further back. I'm gonna put it in the center. I'm gonna make the assumption that I'm gonna be putting more wood in later, or, you know, more floor in. Well, I didn't sit and stare for too long. I'm pretty proud. They're mowing a lot out here, so pardon the noise, but I've got most of the wood laid down. I do have some decisions to make about the step up from the door. I don't know if I wanna remove the plastic, whatever thing that is, because the wood is gonna go all the way to the edge and I can just build a prettier step there. So I may remove that, but I don't have to decide that right this second. What I do wanna do is go ahead and actually start cutting and placing some of the insulation. Mm -hmm. 